29th Tibetan has died after setting herself on fire Monday in Sichuan province. The BBC reports that 20-year-old Tenzin Wang Mo called for a free Tibet before claiming her own life. Over the weekend, an 8th Tibetan set himself on fire in protest of the Chinese regime's rule, according to Free Tibet. It comes right after a photo of the first monk who self-immolated emerges. According to Free Tibet, many young monks are ready to die in a sacrificial act of desperation to draw media attention. There were reported pamphlets being circulated in the streets that said, quote, many more people were prepared to give up their lives in protest should Chinese policies continue. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Global Government News. Today is Wednesday, October 19th, 2011. I'm Darko. This is part two of this news bulletin, and this is my website, ggnonline.com. That's www.ggnonline.com. Also, on YouTube, you can visit my channel along with all the playlists. I have all those uh, videos there. It's ddarko2012. That's ddarko2012. And I have a news archive here on ggnonline.com, and that's uh, all the news. Um, stories that I've covered in the past couple of years. Also, you can follow me by email, and I'll just do this because I haven't done it in a while, all the way at the bottom, because I'm not actually sure. I mean, I know how many people visit this website, but uh, it's not exactly like, uh, uh, you know, MSNBC or something. So I just thought I'd go through it. Either way, uh, network blogs, if you click on this button, um, you can network a blog. Okay, so you saw those first two videos. Um with uh, Rihanna and Britney Spears. Uh, Britney Spears, of course, what, uh, saying that she wants a criminal, she wants a bad boy, she wants someone that kills just for fun, like a Dexter. I know a lot of people like that show, and that's great, and that's wonderful, but just be aware that that's another program. So, um, it's just, uh, like I said before, my last video set of videos, it's an upgrade, it's upgrading, it's keeps constantly upgrading. And also those songs that come on, come on, come on you know, that's, it's very simple. It's a very simple beat, and that's those are the type songs that get stuck in your head, and you don't even know that it's that uh, that those words are resonating with your mind. And uh, she saw first one. Brittany's telling you that it's okay to to um, to uh, you know don't care what your family or your parents think. Go with the you know an immoral killer criminal, and um, and then Rihanna saying you know hey let's do some S and M you know. Really, it's about whips, chains, beating, and all that, and you know, pleasure or whatever. But uh, either way, those are programs. So um, yeah, I have a poll here. Do you believe in t entertainers such as Beyonce, Lady Gaga, uh, Rihanna, Britney Spears are aware of the subtle pharaonic Illuminati symbology in their performances slash rituals? So far, 80% are saying yes, followed by 10% saying maybe. Okay, I'm ready to move on here. We have Big Brother. And, uh, and then we'll move into eugenics. Automotive black boxes raises privacy concerns. Nashville, Tennessee, if you're involved in a traffic accident with no witnesses except you and the other driver, it's just your word against his, right? And uh, I thought that was kind of interesting, too, that in that Rihanna video, I'll just finish up with this, is that all those cameras were there when she was sitting there, kind of like she was sitting watching TV. Did you notice that, that she was being watched? And then all of the press were just kind of like little zombies just doing whatever they were, they were told. So-called event data recorders that function much like black boxes on airplanes and which are now installed on virtually all new vehicles glad I have a nice 96 Lumina, can give investigators incriminating details about your driving behavior in the final seconds before a crash. But some, it's always some, motorists fearful of what they see as an invasion of privacy aren't too happy about it. And this guy actually says he has a 98 Saturn, and uh, and he has one, so maybe a 96 Chevy Lumina may have one. I don't know. I better check that out. Um, but yes, as laws have been implemented in 13 states to limit access to the information the recorders, but there's no such regulation on the books in Tennessee. So that's just Tennessee. Go in there and check that out. And it goes in there and says what it actually does, talking about whether the brakes or accelerator was being pressed and which way the car was being steered, and yes, even whether the occupants were wearing seatbelt. And it sounds all nice and lovey-dovey and rational, but then you have what? You have the um, the little mile tracker boxes. You'll have those as well. Those are And those will have GPS on them and uh, it'll track all of your movement. It's always about um, uh, tracing, like I said before, commerce and travel. Those are the main two things. Uh, commerce and travel needs to be tracked and traced. Everything that you do so that you can become very, very, very predictable. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, so this is kind of something, these little black boxes kind of coincide 
or work in tandem with these little um, CO, you know, it's all about climate change. That's what I'm getting at, the carbon uh, CO2 emissions and that. So they want to put these little uh, tracker boxes in there to see how many miles you're emitting so that you could, uh, you know, basically pay for the amount of miles that you drive. Um, more Facebook friends means more gray matter in the brain, and it basically goes in here and says, while gray matter in some areas in the brain can imply greater competence in some skills, greater mass in other regions may mean an individual is more easily distracted. So, yeah, I went in there and said that uh, people have more friends tend to be uh, more distracted. It says here, uh, Steve Lopez, Disneyland workers answer to electronic whip. It says here, laundry workers monitored by giant big screens aim to keep productivity high as they worry about paying for uh, health care. So this is just typical evil Disney stuff here. So it says in the basements of Disneyland, um, big flat screen monitors hang from the walls. And uh, it basically is showing where the crews are doing their laundry. They said the monitors are like scoreboards with employers' work speeds. Oh, my God, compared to one another. Workers are listed by name so their colleagues can see who is the quickest at loading pillowcases, sheets, and other items in a laundry machine. Oh, my God, dude, that is just sick. I have much news to get to. I'm going to keep covering uh, uh, you know, more here. Go in there and check that out. Uh, most, if not all, links will be posted in YouTube's video description unless I have, quote, technical difficulties. So that last article kind of reminded me of what of that uh african that's college and there's a lot of africans i don't know if you've been to college before how many of you have been to college but there's a lot of africans people from africa that go to college um there's a lot of my um at my um first two-year school the community college and then the university western illinois there was uh, even uh Af people from africa there as well but there was mostly uh indians and chinese at the at the at the bigger ones but the smaller colleges were the africans and either way I saw them, and they, they do come over here in a lot of these programs for education. But, th I mean, he actually paid $6,000, and he ended up doing what? Working at the Hershey factory, working grueling night shifts, so and getting uh, paid barely anything at all. I don't even know if he got paid. Radar that can see through solid walls, so this is radar technology that can detect moving objects behind solos, has been developed by MIT. So if they're telling you it's just been developed it means that it's been developed for about 30 to 50 years and that's right they can uh from um way up a high look through your house and uh, that technology does already exist so and you can be rest assured that's probably already hanging off some kind of aircraft that's monitoring looking in people's houses and that through walls darpa wants and of course the big thing is a high altitude airship um, that was produced by Lockheed Martin and uh, will be run by Homeland Security. They've already done tests, tests in Akron, Ohio, which it crashed. But uh, it's a big, a big air balloon run by a solar power, and it's going to be a big surveillance blimp. And, of course, that will have that type of technology. So, and it goes in there, and this is basically DARPA's just basically taxpayer-funded um, projects for the New World Order, for the military-industrial complex, so they can further enslave you, right? And uh, so terrorists are usually people that want to be free and don't want to have their, they want to have their sovereignty. So this is called narrative networks, and the idea is to detect terrorists who have been indoctrinated by propaganda. Hmm, I wonder what kind of propaganda. That must be me. Then the Pentagon can respond with some messages of its own by understanding how stories have shaped your mind. Pentagon homes to sniff out. Uh, those who have fallen prey to dangerous ideas. A neuroscience researcher involved in the project tells the danger room very scary. Then we have contractors pitch spy tech to cops facing U.S. budget cuts in industry that makes drones, radar equipment, the military industrial complex basically says that they're looking to sell to uh, police. And that's right. In NYP, you now you have uh, CIA working with police, so it makes sense. Google turns to face detection with Samson to uh, take on Apple's speech parser. What's the CIA doing with the NYPD? Depends on whom you ask. And they're spying on Americans is what they're doing, and that's the whole thing. Uh, you are now a terrorist if you're an American and you don't like what's being done to you. NSA and Google develop hardened Android kernel for government communication that will be more secure than BlackBerry. And speaking of BlackBerry, car crashes dropped 40% in Middle East during BlackBerry outage. I always wonder what those things are. It's a data mining operation like PlayStation Network to take people's personal information. But maybe it was this, too, to see uh, how researchers warned of new Stuxnet worm. So you know where it's coming from. U.S. and Israel were behind Stuxnet's claims. U.S. debated cyber warfare and attack plan on Libya, so maybe they would have used it. Then spy phone, how someone could use your iPhone to find out what you were typing on your computer. FCC test to measure cell phone radiation flaw, it says group. Oh, now they're going to admit that it does emit radiation. Like we said before, such as infertility in males who carry phones in their pockets. I've said this 
before many of times, but then it's always crushed down. Of course, what says report says child bone marrow absorbs 10 times more radiation as an adult. And of course, the, so it makes sense that Michelle Obama says that's why we start with kids, right? We can affect who they will be forever. That's what they're, I've talked about, that they go for the children, they bypass the older people because the older people, well, they're closer to dying. you got to get the young people before their minds are shaped, before their family influences them with their, all those morals and, and stuff like that. Uh, it says here, women endangered by high rates of false positive mammograms, so watch out for that. Malaria vaccine could save millions of children of lives, so maybe that's what you meant too by sticking them with a bunch of death and a needle. CVS Pharmacy promotes flu shot propaganda using life-size grim reapers. Rare condition drives Indiana girl to eat light bulbs and it's called PICA, which is weird because I said PIPA and PI, programming icon and more news on celebrities, I guess Demi Moore and Ashton Kutcher had a little Kabbalah camping retreat. A Zimbabwe husband gouges his wife's eyes out over uh, adultery accusations, and West Point invites atheist leader and gay author to speak at diversity conference. Susan Sarandon criticized following report that she called the Pope Benedict the Knot and Spain's Catholic Church accused of trafficking children. <laughs> I just wanted to point out here, look at this, by SS, by ISIS.
Just to point out something I'm seeing right here, it's very animalistic. You have the zebra patterns, you have the pig for gluttony, you have these burning candles, candle wax, and she's the king of what? I don't know. But I like how the shirt she's wearing is censored, because that's exactly what it was, censored. 